I'm in the closet and I'm not coming out. <laughs> Hello guys, Danny Alvarez here with SoFortyUs.com, bringing the latest news and views that you can use. I haven't uploaded in a little while, but uh, that's because I've been busy trying to restart my voice over career, uh, at least right now on the side. Well, anyway, I wanted to show you something that is kind of interesting because a lot of folks that are on uh, voiceovers uh, spend a lot of time editing breaths. And so if I started speaking without breathing right now and started just saying whatever it need, I needed to say and then didn't breathe and I just kept on going, then you would probably start running out of breath yourself because all of a sudden you'd say, this guy's not even breathing. <gasps> Goodness gracious. So the interesting thing is Apple's take on this is pretty interesting because while a lot of people like uh, deleting mouth noises and whatnot, that's actually quite natural making sure that the mouth noises are not there. Generally, when you're speaking with somebody, you might not even be attentive to it, but for those that are a bit more obsessive compulsive, maybe they get obsessed with listening to these little mouth clicks and, you know, the sliminess and stickiness of the mouth as they open. Okay, I don't want to gross you up, but look at the, the, the take that Apple has on this. Now, I'm going to turn around my uh, video here so that you can see... Uh, this content from The Verge, and it says Microsoft Teams will soon let you pretend to be a news reporter during meetings. Check out when I go ahead and drag my mouse, my cursor, and have Apple read this here. The way you do that is you right click. I've got a touchpad, so all you have to do is you double click. You, you actually do two fingers to right click, and then you, I'm going to select speech. And uh, then I'm going to select start speaking. Listen to this. Microsoft Teams is trying to make video calls a little less boring during the pandemic era of remote working with new presenter modes. These allow you to customize how you appear when you're presenting in Teams. Three new modes will be... Did you hear that? In those two sentences or three sentences, you heard the computer... You heard the computer breathing. Yes, breathing. Oh, that's the reason, by the way, that I have this towel up here and this, uh, the ties and the, you know, soft surfaces all over just to kind of absorb the sound because I don't have a, a huge budget to start my, my studio setup. But anyway, wanted to give you an idea of the fact that it's okay to breathe when you talk on your voiceovers. Of course, you don't want to overdo it, but man, they are not doing any attempt. They're not making any attempt to even lower the sound of the, of the breathing on the recording, which I thought was pretty interesting. That's Apple's take, the corporate take, is that voiceovers should sound as natural as possible. Now, while that voice was quite robotic, you've got to admit that listening to a computer breathe was kind of weird, but that's the way it goes. For Sophonia's YouTube channel, this is Danny Alvarez, checking out.